This is Madden 19. I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got what should be a good one between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon God and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, it's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the New York Giants and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in off their very first loss of the year, suffered a week ago. Yeah, it will not be a perfect season, but I'm interested to see how they bounce back now that they know that chasing the 1972 Dolphins is out the window. On the other side of the field for the visiting Giants, they come in on a one-game winning streak. And what do you say we keep that one positive? Because they haven't had much to be positive about lately. Yeah, let's take it maybe... The final playoff push is upon us. It's week 12 of the NFL season, and we're underway on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. So here are the defending NFC champs on offense now. They're led out by a man who started more Super Bowls than anyone in NFL history, the great Tom Brady. I can't help but admire the career Tom Brady has had. The numbers are off the charts. The Super Bowl championships and rings, we know that they are incredible. But how about the durability? Had one season that he missed, most of that season because of a knee injury. The rest of the time, he answers the bell and wills his team to victory more times than not. He had the numbers of a game last week that if you win, you talk about him being a gritty guy, managing the game, getting it done. But they lost. So obviously, two interceptions, one touchdown pass, that's not going to be good enough. Got to get that changed around. Quickly now, a look at the Eagles' offensive starters. Stephon Diggs had eight touchdowns in the regular season. And then when it came to the postseason, a huge one in the playoffs. They'll be remembered forever, especially in Minnesota. Also helped to actually overshadow what a really nice year he had. He can catch the ball underneath and also take the top off of the defense with his speed. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. And they get blocked in the back. Offense. So that one will be accepted. Brady. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And yeah, he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. That one goes for 24 yards. I've got to make sure that I don't take Tom Brady's greatness for granted, that we make it routine. How about that throw right there? Yeah. Like another great completion. And you know one area where he honed his throwing? He was a catcher in high school. He was actually drafted by the Expos in 1995 in the 18th round. Well, that would have been something to see him behind the dish. Think he's gunned down a few guys? Gunned down a few guys trying to steal second. That would have been fun to watch. But look now at the starters for the Giants defensively. They were terrific a week ago in that victory over Tampa Bay, Charles. And all defensive teams that I know talk about creating turnovers. Takeaways, they call them. And anytime you can get two or more in a game, you've had a really, really good performance. They exceeded that number in a big way. Now Brady throwing on second down. Evans has it left side. And he's going to get this inside the 30. His first catch of the game, good for 11 and a first down. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him? Either fellow receivers or offensive linemen. That makes that play a really nice timing play. And sometimes it can break big. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. First time they've hooked up here. Good for 17 at a first down. 
I don't think it's a surprise they're throwing the football early. We expected that. They told us they were going to come out firing, but four for four on the opening drive. They like that. <laughs> they don't just like it. They love it because now everyone gets... And that's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Stephon Diggs with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Building confidence after a loss, that's a good way to do it. The loss last game, but first drive here in this one, cashing it in for six. And they can talk all they want about putting a loss behind them. I think that drive there did more than any conversation they had, don't you think? That's exactly right. Puts that to bed, and this is what they said all week long. A lot of things they needed to do differently. Whatever they said appears to have worked. So here are the Giants ready to start their initial drive of the game. They'll be led out by the former Mississippi State product, the mobile quarterback, Dak Prescott. And it felt like in watching the game tape, he got everyone involved last week. He know? was a manager. He really was. That's a great way to put it because they ran the ball some, they threw it accurately. One touchdown pass, so he didn't you know, break the bank doing that, but he didn't throw any interceptions. That's the bottom line. That's why a defense loves a quarterback like that. Doesn't put them in bad situations. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. And this whole line, it is the lifeblood of the offense. They establish the tone. Mean, nasty, physical. They can't wait to get after people. That allows the rest of the offense to feel confident. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. A second down throw for Prescott. And Beasley with it over the middle. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Holding offense. So apparently some grabbing of the jersey there on the O-line. Yeah, just working the interior, and that's where the penalty occurred. Second down, Prescott. And this is caught. Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he's able to get up here to the 26. That catch good for five. It's third down. And the defense now for the Eagles. What I love about Cameron Jordan's game is that it's so varied. He can play the run so effectively. Also rushes the passer, and at times, he'll run with a receiver downfield. You name it, Cam Jordan does it, and he does it with some flair. Third and long for Prescott. And complete to Lewis over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 17 yards on the pick up there and also a first down. I know at the end of games, coaches always tell us that no one play won or lost a game. But this seems pretty important early, doesn't it? Their, their ability to pick up that first down on third down, I thought that was key. Well, you're already in the hole after the touchdown on the other side. How will you respond? We talk about that a lot. And they responded pretty well there. You go three and out, I think you give up a lot of momentum. You get down two scores, could be an entirely different game. So they've got a nice drive going now. They're in good shape. What's interesting to me is they're also in that spot of the field where you would take a shot. Do you change that up just because you're down a touchdown? And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. North of 100 yards, the two scores. And, you know, you got to give a lot of credit to the O-line. We talked a lot about him, but offensive line was good, too. They're obviously in sync with each other, whether it's zone blocking, power running game, no matter what. He understands how to read them and find the creases that they provide. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Now the first carry for Ty Montgomery. And he's going to get this inside the 30. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. The timing and the faking on that play was so good, you almost think you're at a magical act, right? The magician has shown you something, and then you realize it's not really there. He's created an illusion, and the illusion was they were going to throw the football. It looked like a pass play. Instead, it turned into a draw. Offensive line may be able to get out in front. They drew the defensive line upfield and beat them at their own game, and that's why they picked up big yardage into the secondary. But I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. 
And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize himself being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this has started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. Underneath for Johnson. It'll be a two-yard gain, and it's a second down. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Now a handoff, Johnson. Johnson with a burst, a first down and more. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. David Johnson, his fourth touchdown on the year. And the Giants are an extra point away from tying up this football game. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. Add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? If they're smart, they do. Going on first down is Brady. Over the middle to Evans. So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Just a yard on the catch there. It'll be second and nine. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Wait, 20! Wait, 20! Brady to throw on second down. He completes it to Julio Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First catch so far for Julio. He's got a first down. Someone sharp in this game. I mean, a touchdown pass in the first drive and comes right back. He's flinging it around really well here. A really nice throw there to pick up the first down. You, you kind of just feel a laser focus and confidence about him. And I think we saw that this week, didn't we? Talking to him and the coaches, they felt good about his performance coming up. Yeah, I was really impressed with that last practice we saw. When they went through two-minute drills and they went through all the different situations. Ball hardly hit the ground, and I thought, yeah, he might be locked in for this one. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of four, and it'll leave him with a third down and six to go. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You may also just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down. Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Evans. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. Throughout his career, Tom Brady has made a living with the quick pass, hasn't he? How about that one? A little slant inside. And I think his arm's gotten stronger throughout his career, too. Yeah. And you can just see one of many examples of why he's made more trips to the Super Bowl than any other quarterback. Footwork, intelligence, competitiveness. That's Tom Brady in a nutshell. Let's go, let's go. The numbers for him from a week ago. 11 catches, 135 yards, big game. Third in the league in receiving yards, and that's a strong number. That means he's being consistent each and every time out. Powering forward, and he gets it down a yard or two shy of the 30 before he's out of bounds. It's a nine-yard gain, and it keeps the drive moving. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But if you can't a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, he'll take him each and every time. And before they can get settled in here, time expires. All the first quarter of action. Back live with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. It's the Eagles with the ball here to begin quarter number two. And they're on the move here. They've got it first and ten. To throw is Brady. The tight end Kittle has it on the left side. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one. It earns him a fresh set of downs. Brady now 10 of 10 to start the game. How about that? As he comes up on a first and 10. Trying to drop one in, but it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. Now, that's absolutely terrific technique right there by the corner. Exhibit A. Zone coverage. Knew his man was in relation to the football at all times and made a nice play. And he'll do a nice job here just to fight his way back to the line of scrimmage. 
Back to back stops make it third and ten. Well, there was no blitz. That was just a draw play that, to be frank, didn't fool anybody. Did we hear the entire stadium screaming draw? <laughs> they, they felt they like saw everybody it. was they all saw. over that play, and the defense won that. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Julio Jones, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles are able to cash it in for six. Footing always a concern, but the extra points up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. So that one a long 11 play drive. And it was capped off by an Eagles touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25 yard line. And New York set to take the field. And to be frank, they're just in a tough spot. It's only November, already eliminated from playoff contention. I know their fan base doesn't want to hear that, but that's the case. What are they fighting for now going forward? You know exactly what they're fighting for is that word that some people don't want to hear, huh. but it's pride. Draft. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to go draft, but pride's better, right? Well, you know something? <laughs> You're right, because that's part of it, but that's two different mindsets. That's front office mindset, yep. draft position. Where are we going to be and what do we need to get? And then the players and the coaching staff right now, try. can they win some games and feel better about themselves despite the fact they have no shot at the playoffs? His first catch, good for eight and a first down. A first down carry here for Johnson. And not much room to operate as they'll get this up only to about the 41. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Now that result is no surprise. This team is bringing back memories of what? The 85 Bears, the 2000 Ravens. Those teams were so great against the run, they made you abandon any plans of doing that when you played against them. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. And incomplete here, so a little razzle-dazzle on that one. But they couldn't hook up, and it's third down. On third down, it's Prescott. And that's complete to Lewis. And able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. A nice gain of 21 yards. They go play action here on first down. They'll roll him out right. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Well, he did a nice job keeping his eyes downfield, waiting for someone to get open. But once the pressure forced his eyes down to see the rush, it was time to make a break for it. Call it a gain of seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. First down, here's the run to Montgomery. And not much, maybe a yard down to the 23. Second down, Johnson. Just a couple on the pick up there, and now it's third down. And on third and eight, defensively, they're going to beef up the secondary. Six defensive backs. Prescott from the gun. Buying time to his, and he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Aaron Donald in there to get him, and that's sack number eight for him on the year. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately. I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes, and he's capitalizing. And a few times, he's even defeated double teams. He doesn't care at this point. So he splits the uprights, and has to be a nice feeling. Right when it left his foot, knew it was good. Yeah, just like a good three-point shooter in basketball, right? Release the ball, fall back on defense without even looking. You know it's going in the hoop. Now, that's the kind of return you're looking for. To get to that spot on the field, that allows you to do a lot of things on offense. The Eagles in good position to start out as they come up first and 10. Go. They'll start with Hunt on the ground. And he'll get this up past the 45 to the 47. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. 
But we all know the guy carrying the ball is going to get the credit, both in the stat line and probably in the newspaper. But guess what? This guy's creating holes. They couldn't feel better about themselves right now. Offensive line, tight end, probably even the wide receivers are involved. They're moving the ball well. That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. Yes, indeed. That play there, that reminds me of some of the guys that I played with to have that suddenness, able to get into the backfield almost about the time the ball snapped and make a play. How about that tackle for a loss? Yeah, absolutely. He did a lot of that last week when he was named the NFC. It's caught inside the 25. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. A big 30-yard play on third. Great patience in the pocket. Of course, it's easy to be patient when the protection's good, and it was. Yeah, you've got to pat those guys on the helmet and say thanks because they gave him plenty of time to stay back there, survey the field, go through the reads that he wanted to, and deliver the ball accurately. That was really well executed. They'll run it now out of the gun. Yeah, not much to speak of there. Maybe a yard down to the 20. The Eagles on third down. A perfect three for three as they look to keep that streak going. This will be third and five. Working from the gun, it's Brady. And he's able to find Diggs. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, We'll step aside. Wait, 20. Wait, 20. Brady now on first down. And it's caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. They'll try and punch it in. Gordon. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Melvin Gordon, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And there you go. Nothing really too complex. Block, keep to your assignments. Let him run it in. They did it. Fundamental football. Good blocking. Beats good tackle on that play. And result, touchdown. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Prescott looks to throw on first. And his throw here is incomplete. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. On second down, Prescott again. Over the middle, complete. That's Lewis. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. I know the halftime's approaching, but I don't think he's going to want to take a break. That's his fifth catch. Yeah, they've really been targeting the tight end. They'll hand it off now. Johnson. And very little room to maneuver. He'll get this down to about the 39. Tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Prescott now on second down. Completes it left side to the tight end, Lewis. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. Prescott from the gun on third. That's complete. It's Gordon. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. And now the Eagles going to signal for a timeout. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. And a fair catch taken back near about the 35, 36-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wait 20! Wait 20! On first and 10, here's Brady. 
And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of six there on first. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. To throw, it's Brady. And that's off the mark, incomplete. There was the veteran, Devin McCourty. He got a hand in there to break that one up. It's always a good play when you're able to bat a ball away or down because if you actually tip it in the air, now the offense is getting a second shot at catching the football, or another receiver may come along and grab it out of the air and turn it into a big play. So if you make a play on the ball, make sure it's knocked away or down. Otherwise, it could be some jeopardy. 18 yards there and a first down. Brady now at 200 yards already in this first half, and he's not done yet. First and 10. Wait, wait, 20. Wait, wait, Again, they'll throw with Brady. The left side completion to Jones. And now we won't see a play on first down. We're going to get a timeout instead as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. On first down, Brady. Caught on the right side by Jones. And down inside the 15 he goes. Into the red zone, it's Brady. That's complete, right around the eight. Flash those fast feet, but they'll drop him at the five-yard line as he can't get any closer to the end zone. Again, it's Brady. And this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Holding offense. So a holding penalty, and that'll send him backwards. You know they're trying not to do that. I mean, we know that, right? We talk to them all the time. But sometimes the defensive guys just put you in awkward situations, and you get caught in their jerseys. This will be caught at about the six. And it's stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The quick slant, good for a first down, a gain of 12. And now whistles and a flag, and I think we got a jump here. Neutral zone infraction, defense. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. Give him two yards on that play. So it's still first and goal, but now they get to try from a bit closer. Now Brady again. touchdown pass of this first half and the Eagles add on to their lead and the lead is up to 18 now that's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone well, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here and they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback Final play of the first half, barring a penalty, as they come up on first and ten. And with time running short here, they'll simply take a knee, and that should do it for half number one. So we've come to halftime here in Philly. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Forecast calling for more of the same. The rain set to continue as we are underway in the second half. That'll be taken in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. On first and 10, Prescott. And he fires one incomplete. Josh Gordon, the intended receiver. And that'll bring up second down. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Now a 10th carry for Johnson. And he'll get this one up to the 26. 
Only a yard of the pickup there, so it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Not the start to the drive they were looking for. That run doesn't do much at all. No, not at all, and it leaves them with third and long. And you know, this is the time of game where these drives really, really start to matter. They got to make some moves. Flushed out right. And they work this well upfield across the 45. No one there to help out downfield, but no problem. Scrambling for 22 and a first. Now those are the ones that hurt defensively. You do everything right. Excellent pressure, good coverage downfield, and then he slips out the back door and turns it into a nice game. Escaping the pressure right. Nice work to get seven out of that, and it's second down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. Sometimes I get almost mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, those eyes that carry their feet to open spaces, make people miss. I just love watching those guys go to work. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. Mika Fitzpatrick made the play defensively, the first-round pick out of Alabama. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game, and while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Officially no gain on the play, and they're left with a third and eight. And while there is no gain on that run, we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch. I think we're getting really close to that point in time, though, where the identity may have to go out the window. They've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on. A big call coming on third Holy down. Offense. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They have the lead here. Well, we talk a lot about pregame speeches. What are halftime speeches like? For the most part, not nearly as emotional. They're a lot more clinical. Every now and then, though, they'll get after you if they think they need to light a fire. But in this case, let's go into the virtual locker room because here's what I think happened. They got in there and they said, listen, let's take control right away. Yeah, Defense, yeah. we, got the de we, got the, we got the lead. Defense, don't give up any points. Turn the ball back over to the offense and let them go down and score and give us more of a cushion in the game. Check so far. Defense shut them down. Let's see if the offense gets done. They give him 17 yards that time as that'll move the chains. Brady now on first down. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Stephon Diggs, his intended receiver. That'll bring up second down. And that one was knocked away, and I think the defenders are going to be a little upset with themselves. They made the play on the football, but that one felt like a forced pass by the quarterback. Thought he had someone open. He really wasn't. Maybe an example of having too much confidence in his receiver that no matter what, I'm going to throw it to him. And that was a play made by the defense, and it could have been a bigger one. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. They'll run it now out of the gun. And a pretty big hole as he's down to about the 40. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. So much of the game today, we're looking for hybrid players, guys who can do a combination of jobs. And anyone who plays a strong safety position now more than ever is a hybrid type player. Half defensive back that covers passes and half linebacker that makes tackles. We just saw the linebacker make that play. Fifth catch of the afternoon, and that gives him a first down. By 20. Now a play fake here on first down. He's got the connection over the middle to Diggs. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And he goes for 18 there as the drive will continue. It's a game of matchups, and that's Wait, why you take your receivers Wait, and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, and this is caught. 
Touchdown, Philadelphia. The fourth touchdown pass of the game for Tom Brady. And the Eagles had six to their lead. And partner, they found a gap there on the post pattern, and it was in the middle third of the field. And that's really difficult to do because ordinarily the safeties are back there to prevent that happening. But they found the opening and exploited it. This is taken about seven yards deep. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And with this deficit... You can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. You know what I would tell my offense right here? The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not on the team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you've got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some points. No way does that guy get on the field on this drive. Uh, poor punter. Yeah, he didn't, it, it wasn't his fault. But some, hey, listen, there's some guy, there's going to be casualties at times. We're trying to win a game. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. On third and one, here's Prescott. And he can't quite pick it. No interception so far. That probably should have been their first, but at least it's fourth down. On third and one, I think everyone in the stadium thought they'd try and run the football there, but they tried to surprise the defense and hit something through the air. Instead, it results in an incompletion. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and ten. Now flags will come in. I think this one's going to be on the defense for jumping. Encroachment, defense. And the movement there coming from the middle of the line. And you understand he wants to get off the ball quickly, but the ball's right in front of him. He has to watch it move first. Who 20? Who 20? They fake the handoff. Now Brady. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Chalk that up as their first sack in this game, and they tallied four a week ago. And... Probably not as much exultation in that sack as what took us so long. Because when you get four the previous week, you're counting on continuing that momentum. They didn't get that done in the first half of the game. Let's see now if they start to bring even more exotic pressure towards the quarterback. They call his number again. It's his sixth catch and a first down. Brady, perfect since the second half started. Seven of seven. It's first and ten. Throwing on first down is Brady. And Diggs has it. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. On play action, it's Brady. That's to the right side. Complete to Kittle. This one good for a first down. And also, that is catch number 90 for him now on the season. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just Mike enough Brady. to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Here's Brady looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. Good coverage that time by Malcolm Butler. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. Mike 20! Mike 20! Brady again here on second and ten. And his throw is incomplete. The Eagles on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and ten. Brady to throw again. Over the middle to Kittle. Complete. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. He was over 100 receiving last week. He's over 100 down this week as he's got a first down as well. I'd have to say they're feeling like they are in rhythm right now. Things are in sync, aren't they? Team's winning, got a nice little margin on the scoreboard, completing some passes, and they just completed another one for a first down there to the tight end. They give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. Can we just take that run and turn it into a kind of a clip and save? Because that tells you everything you need to know about this drive. They've been moving the ball awfully well. Throwing middle, 
but it's incomplete. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. Five yards on the screen, but that'll take us to fourth down. They dialed up the screen pass on third down, and for a second, it looked like it was all going to come together, and they had a chance to pick up a first down, but the defense got there and finished it off. And Bullock will put this one through, and that will extend their lead even further. So put three on the board, but you know, from that far into enemy territory, probably hoping for more. Yeah, I think they're going to get together on the sideline talk about it, right? Because you get that far, that deep, you want to come away with a touchdown. They'll take the three, but they're going to file it away for the future. And now let's look at David Johnson. So after that hot start, the numbers here show the decline. What has the defense done adjustment-wise? Sometimes when you have a running back who's gotten off to a hot start, you've got to catch him before he really gets going. So you change what you're doing across the defensive front. Instead of the linebackers being back a few yards, you bring them up closer. It's what we call mugging the line of scrimmage, taking away a lot of blocking angles and gaps and maybe stopping him before he can get going. Mugging the line of scrimmage, okay. Yeah, in this case. And welcome back. We are in the city of brotherly love, Philadelphia. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. A second down throw for Prescott. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. The Giants on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll try and run for it. Here's Johnson. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. They give him 12 yards and a first down. Now on the heels of that run by Johnson, here's another first and 10. Prescott on first down. And complete to Lewis over the middle. And he'll get it down to the 47 here. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Here's Johnson. He's been busy this afternoon. Holding offense. So some holding over on the left side of that O-line. And I know for the guys trying to move those big defensive people, they'd love for them to stay in one spot. But they move around so quick and so fast that sometimes you just have to go out Got his man complete over the middle. That's Gordon. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Nothing flashy there. The slant to the slot. And the frustration for the defensive guys, because it's a quick play. And you know it's going to be a bang, bang play in terms of the throw and the catch. And then he's able to absorb the contact and complete it. 13 yards as the quick slant keeps the drive moving. I don't care how many times we see it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trick in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Prescott over the middle complete. It's Lewis. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Sometimes the most effective routes are the ones that you run in the backyard. You probably ran them when you were five years old. How about a little curl there against zone? But the key to it is finding the open spots in the zone. How a linebacker or a defensive back will widen to give you space. Find that area and let your quarterback hit you. Maurice Alexander making the stop defensively. And as we've seen throughout this season, it's no picnic trying to score touchdowns against this unit. They're ranked number one against the run. Ball start. But it's also Offense. difficult because it's not easy to throw the ball against them either. That'll go as a loss of five. And all of a sudden here, it's third down. Following the penalty, it's Johnson. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a gain of four, but it won't be enough. It leaves him with a fourth down now. 
They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. Running for it, Montgomery. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. It's first and goal after they rip off a solid chunk of yardage in the ground game on a risky fourth down call. It's fourth and two, and you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage. So you have to be definite about your decision about where to go. False start, offense. And yeah, maybe they were coming with a blitz that time, and it caused a jump. I think if we saw it, you know that they saw it. Might have been a little discussion down there. Bad guys coming. Pick them up. Pick them up. And someone jumped. On the ground, this is Johnson. And they'll get him down here at about the five-yard line. And that gets him three yards closer here as it brings up second and goal. Well, Brandon, we always know that once you score one touchdown, you you're, want two. <laughs> you're without a doubt. And so far today, he's got one, but was denied. And he's got it. Touchdown, Giants. Cole Beasley, his first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to cut into this lead. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find. Now the point after try for Santos. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. In order to play really good run defense when you're playing a 3-4, those three guys up front, the nose tackle and the guys they call the defensive ends, they're usually big, big people because they're going to have to eat up a lot of blockers because it's usually five on three. And when they do their job well, guys who play on the inside, those inside linebackers, they're able to just roam and hit. On third down, this is Melvin Gordon. Not much room here as he only gets it to about the 30. Give him three yards there as that'll take us to fourth down. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. And New York set to take the field. They had to go a long way on their last drive to score the touchdown. This time, they get at least a little bit more of a cushion with field position. I have to think that with this field position, after what they did on the last drive, they might want to take a shot right now and try to cut down the length of the drive. He'll get three yards on the scramble there. It's second down. Prescott now on second down. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. On third down, it's Prescott. To the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. Good defense holds him to only a yard, and it'll be fourth down. Desperation time. Prescott on four. And it's caught by Herndon. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. But no reason not to try it there, and they do indeed convert on fourth. Both sides were holding their breath there on that fourth down play, and the offense can breathe a sigh of relief. And both knew exactly where the first down markers were. You know the defense is trying to guard those sticks and try and keep people in front. But somehow, some way, those guys found a way to pick it up. 11 more on that one and another first down. They'll try and run. This is Johnson. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. 
No gain on that run. And while the team is down, there's still time to come back and win the football game. If I'm the offensive coordinator, though, I've got to think about moving at a faster pace and maybe opening things up a little bit and throwing it a little bit more. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They gotta have six here. It's third and goal. They'll try to run it in. Johnson. And he will maneuver his way down to about the seven. Just a gain of two there, and it's gonna bring up a fourth down. Nice job holding him out of the end zone on third down, but give a big assist to the crowd. They've been with them the entire game and have spurred them on. Here in the second half, they've really helped elevate their play. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. And that is caught. He's got it for a giant touchdown. Mercedes Lewis. His first touchdown on the year. And the Giants are able to draw a bit closer. Big fourth down conversion for the score and the defense. That is a tough pill to swallow. Big time for them. How about them just deciding to go for it on fourth down? And, oh, okay, forget the field goal because that looked like an easy three points. Yeah, you might have had a defensive breakdown in there, but they pressed the issue and found a way to get it into the end zone. Give them big credit for that. Well, that certainly makes things more interesting. You get the score, then you get the onside kick. A little uphill battle still, but a start. It's not mission accomplished, but the plan is working. They are in a great spot right now, and the best part, they put the defense right back out on the field after having already scored. Yeah, they've got the momentum here now. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. Time for a break. We're back to finish this one off after this. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. To throw is Prescott. And he'll cross over out of bounds right at the 25. They got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. Working the sideline there. Good route, good catch. First down, and he gets out of bounds. Yeah, you have to let the play call because you have to run some guys down the middle of the field to draw some of the defenders away. They can't just let them guard the sideline exclusively. That's how it's going to work. Sidelines and incompletions to use the clock. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Line of scrimmage. Again, the 25, second and 10. On second down, Prescott again. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. I think the defenders have to feel pretty good, even though the ball was tipped in the air and could have become a big play for the offense. They actually won one because the guy flinging it today, he's having quite the performance. Couple of touchdown passes. Almost threw his first interception. But he's throwing it so well, I think Lady Luck was on his side. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Okay, I'm not quite sure how to judge that one. Maybe didn't have enough legs underneath him. Mechanics might have been off. Maybe some fatigue. That one came up short. That fourth quarter, maybe you do start to watch as the arm there, the legs still there. This has been a tough game. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on four. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. They keep it on the ground again, Gordon. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop it behind the line. And now following that timeout, the defense back out onto the field. On third down, it's Gordon. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As they'll get it with just under 90 seconds remaining. And not his best effort there as this one's going to be spotted down just outside of the 40-yard line. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
A first down throw for Prescott. And he fends him off. But he can't get away forever, and down he goes. Fletcher Cox in there to drop him as the clock continues to roll. Second down, Prescott. And he whips that one incomplete there. The intended receiver was David Johnson. And that'll make it third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means he'll need to come up with something here on third down. Here's Prescott. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. All right, Charles, as a former defensive back, how disheartening to actually catch it but just not be able to stay in bounds there defensively. Well, extremely because, you know, the rap against us defenders is that we are frustrated offensive guys who can't catch. And, and he caught it, just couldn't get his feet down in bounds. It's that second part that finished off the play for him. Well, you feel the excitement build on those fourth down plays. Defense has to stay out there, but for the offense, when that thing doesn't work out, such disappointment. It can absolutely be a deflator, but how about the defensive guys? If they stop you on fourth down, they are absolutely elevated going to their bench. They're elevated now. Big stop on fourth down. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Well, Charles, the forecast called for rain throughout the entire game, and we got rain throughout the entire game. But these two teams, they had fun getting dirty out there. They love the slop. Did you trust the forecast ahead of time? Are you I, one of those guys that's skeptical, skeptical about it, or did you skeptical. trust it? But when I saw just a big blob of green on the radar, I said, okay, let's trust. Yeah, and that's why I'm glad you took my advice. Got your notes laminated, because, you know, open-air booth, that rain can affect us as well, although not as much as the guys on the field. But let's face it, it's kind of fun to watch these types of games, isn't it? It is. By the way, how impressive is it that you travel with a laminator? I didn't even know there was a portable laminator. The things that you learn. Golly, wise beyond his years. So for the Eagles, they get win number 10 on the year as they move to 10-1. and one. And they'll get to stay home again next week as the Washington Redskins come to town. Meanwhile, for the Giants, the problems just get worse and worse as they fall to 2-9 and nine now on the year. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against the Chicago Bears. I'm Brandon Gauden. Certainly have to thank Charles Davis, my broadcast partner, and our entire crew. We'll catch you next time right here. It's the NFL on EA Sports.